everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Last time we started this galactic adventure, and we got three power stars, two in Sky Station, and one in Yoshi Star. Start beginning the second one in Yoshi Star. I think we're gonna be grand old time. Mission 2, Spine Control. Things have changed a bit since we were last year. Spinies have, um, overgrown the population due to the lack of Kamek, I guess? I don't know. I'm trying to explain more here, it doesn't work that well. I am trying a new capture card, um, can't tell if it looks any better. We'll see, I'm in post. There'll probably be a little message right there telling you if it worked or not. Yoshi can eat these guys. It takes he has to lick them first and then be able to pick them up. He can shoot them as well, which can destroy these glass cages, like so. Take one with us. Okay, that's what's weird. That's too bad, isn't it? Okay. Well, that's quite a waste. Um, I've never lost the Yoshi there, I'll admit it. Oh, he's right here. I've never really used that for a long time before, so. You can also take out Laka too. He'll respawn actually though, so. If not, you could technically soft block yourself here by running out of spines to shoot. This little nice back flip. And we're off. I believe that just hasn't worked. Let's try this one. Scum. And sacrifice. Perfect. Let's go. We'll hit another one on the way, because that's fun. And we find ourselves here. It's kind of hard to describe. Gravity is very wonky in this situation, as you can probably tell. This is awkward. There we go. Nice little gravity hopping. Got ourselves a nice little life right there. Great. Gravity is awkward and I don't know what to do. Oh. <laughs> it's so helpful. We're free! <laughs> Yo! We go! And pull on this one. This one's time. Throw this here for a short while. We got the one up. We're jumping this one. Well, that didn't work very well, did it? And here are checkpoint, very ominous looking. Nothing bad can happen here, right? Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Surprise! Oh, I believe this. Well, we had Pee Wee Prom. This is our second true boss. It's King Lucky Thunder, if I'm not mistaken. He's angry. Oh, he's angry! Intercept those. 
shoot him back at him. Um, if you've played a Mario game before, I want you to take the now guess how many hits this guy takes. After hitting him, he will take a run at the island, because he's mad. No, that's nice. Now he's angry. Yeah, what you gonna do about it? Oh, he's gonna move farther away, making it less hard to hit. Slightly harder. Oh. Didn't matter too much, though, did it? Ah. Shiny goggles. And... Come on, yeah, there we go. There is our first power star of the episode. Yes. And our fourth overall. And with that, I believe that is all we can do in Sky Station and Yoshi Star Galaxy for now. We'll probably come back here a little bit later, but wow, that's all we got. So, let's continue onward, shall we? Let's take a quick check. Since right there it is. Yep. Okay. And we've reached the star barrier. It wouldn't let us pass through here if we had less than three stars, but you know, we have four. So yeah, sure, man, go ahead. No triples? Okay. <sighs> of course. Guess we'll start spending. That is a hungry Luma. If you feed it the amount of star bits it has on over its head, you will create a new galaxy with usually at least one or two power stars. So I guess we'll beat this one. And then come back. And we got a nice look at something that we might be using later. And pretty cool music. Okay. So this planet, you're supposed to get the power up for this level and use it to be able to get to the top there. But just if you time it right, spinner, man, yeah, speedrunners use us, obviously. <laughs> it's much faster. Yeah, I'm confused about how I got this too. Okay, now we're really gonna look at the power for this level. Spin drill. You shake the wiggle do agile to start drilling. So, any planet that has a dirt-like substance spin, you'll be able to go to the other side of it. And... I believe... And... If... Here's the combo. Just go right under. And... Up there. Get up here. Talk to Luma. Who will sacrifice himself for the greater good so that we can progress. Level design. You also lose the spin drill every time you use a, you use a launch star. So that you will not get it to a place that you're not intended to lose. Get risky there. And then we'll show up for us to access. No. <laughs> and I believe that. No. Sir, that was rude and irresponsible. Thank you for the coin. Yep. Ah. Slow down. <laughs> I'd make me Oh, okay, sir. There it is. Yeah, that's another thing to go level. Cool. There we go. You can just get through. Yeah! It's you, Mario, right? Making no ship? It's called a Star Shrimp. We're shipping half soon. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm gonna sniff the hell out of some now the toad with the head captain. Help me! Is a pretty scary monster just passed her. Be careful! Good to know, Captain Toad. Thank you for blowing out my eardrums. Sorry if he blew out yours. This guy is a, um, hungry loom of sorts. Loomy Lee, Loom Bob, welcome to the Loom Shop. I can say something to help with 30 star bits. We only have 27, so we're not going to. 30 star bits, you'll either transform into a one up mushroom or a life mushroom. You choose. And this is usually right before boss. Here we have probably one of my favorite bosses of the game. It's Megaleg's younger cousin, Diggleg. And the remix is really good. Well, this is just the song. Okay, what he will do? Spin drill the people, and then he'll expose his weak spot, which has a star. What I like to do is do that, so he'll send the ye little yellow drill guys that we saw earlier. And you can um, take them out inside the planet's core. Yeah, there we go. Second hit. Uh, he sent out a second one, and I just really caught it. Third, fourth. Nice. Somewhat challenging. Nope! There we go, though. That's Diggle Egg done. And for our troubles, we can get a power star. And you can just simply spin through. It's yours. Nice boss. I really like that. I really enjoy that boss. He's really fun. I'm saying nothing more than I enjoyed the boss. He is fun. I like game. Game is fun. Dig legs playing it. Finished. Got another comp medal. Got some star bits. We got an hour gun enough to feed the hungry Luma. But I want to finish off Dig Leg. Um, spin Dig Galaxy first. Oh, one of my little guys is back. I was wondering what happened to the little feller after he fell off. You built a ship to get back, huh? That's my crew for you. Yeah. Uh, those guys are all friends of yours, right? Um, I call them acquaintances. You don't want to visit that ship, jump inside your ear. It's a teleporter. Those are warp pads. They will... It'll teleport you between the ship, Starship Mario, and the Toad Brigade ship. And we'll take another spot chance. Like way over now. It's impressive long jump, sir. And oh, they didn't fall off the homey ground. Huh? That's a shame. Okay, get the other star and spin dig. And mission two: silver stars down deep. I don't believe we've learned the Silver Stars yet. I'll explain it once we get there. And again, that probably sounded way off because... I don't feel like I need to mention that. Careful! Watch out for the Cosmic Clones. If they come after you, run for it. This is just a... Another example of Cosmic Clones. They will follow your every move, I kind of already explained it, but uh, we didn't get to see much of them. 
but they will follow your every move, and if you get hit by them, they will hurt. But they'll also disappear after that, so... Um... I And we got another spin drill. Well, I was gonna say we could use it to take out this three yellow guy, but we didn't end up. We did take out that guy. That's fine. And that's a dead end. Oh well. And, oh, we need to hit that angle right there so we can progress. Boom. Boom. Ah, dang it. Oof. I'm not gonna let that happen. Now we get proved that I'm not gonna let that happen by falling again. Yes! And falling once more. Nice. I rarely been able to get that without getting hit by something. To be fair, I usually do just rush it, which it does make me much less likely to. That's our starpets. And we have an ally with info. According to my investigation, there is a silver star over there. Oh. Sorry, I forgot to say something. My nerves are still sitting at the past officer as they emerge into the power star! <laughs> Everybody, sir. Um, we gotta go find the jump right here. Nice. Nice. Okay, yeah, so what the blue guy said. There are five silver stars. Oh, nice hit. And if you get every single one of them, they will make a power star. This is a returning concept from, I believe. Well, first off, Galaxy yeah, 1. And then also Super Mario 64 DS. I believe also had these. There's one. Yep. Nice. Usually these darker holes will give you an idea of where you'll find something. Whether it's a coin or an actual silver star. That would be useful. That's four. Let's see where the last one is. So why don't you say, let's go get it. And then we'll merge together. Go collect it. It's not that hard. Assuming that these yellow guys somehow get, don't get me. And there we go. For now, that is Spin Dig done. Yeah, there will be some things that happen later that we'll come back here, but for now, we're good. And we're in a new place. Solar Star's gone deep. Collected. Now, 419 more than enough to go talk to that hungry Luma. Well, well, what do we have here? Spin Drill, huh? That's for digging? Shit. Just don't go digging through the center of your face ship. You might get a headache. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, that was a good guy. That's fine. Not a mushroom, though. But he is a fun guy. Yeah, so this is the engine room. All the powers that you collect will be on display here. You can't access them. They're just for looking. Too bad. And it's located right there. Little secret hidey hole in Mario's hat. And I think we'll end this episode off by seeing what this hungry Uma has to offer. Let us call upon him! Looks like I found a hungry Uma, hoping I'd strike a service, because those guys can eat! Okay, sure, what do you, what do you want? Hey you! Yeah you! Got any tasty Starbits I can snack on? So hungry? Feed me delicious Starbits, I need to challenge 300, then I'll transform! 
Okay, so you point at the screen with your pointer. Press B to shoot them into his face and make him explode with snacky happiness. That's the stuff! Oh, so full! Then we're about to transform! And there he goes. All special Hungry Luma Galaxies will be denoted by a pink path. I don't know exactly why, but it's a thing. Okay. Flip Swap Galaxy. Only one star. And more calm battle. Think before you shake. And this galaxy has an interesting little gimmick. See this little incentive to break it? This will flip all the platforms. A little platforming segment. It's fun. You can spin in the air to make the platforms work for you. And that was unfortunate. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's what I thought. There we go. Home and grab out. There is a glitch that you can do. It's kind of a glitch. Just a movement funny thing. So. Let me see if I can hold this off right. Do this. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off, but... It kind of looks like that, but... So what you do is... As you're in the air... Well, I didn't pull it off at that time, but... You just walk off, spin, and long jump. But if you time it right, you can either do a super high backflip or a super far long jump. Like so. Oh, barely made that. <laughs> I don't know how many times I'll be able to pull that off, but we'll see. There's also chain jumps. If they don't have any platform to fall on, they'll just, you know. They'll follow the path that they're on, unless there's no path for them to be on. In which case, they will fall. Which is very... kind of... kind of strange. Again, I'm not very well good enough at the game to be able to pull off the super long jump effectively, but if you see a speedrun of this section of the game, it's insane. It's like, they just do it a couple times and they skip pretty much the entire level. And... Good start, and that's that. Fun galaxy, fun idea. I don't believe that was a gimmick in the first galaxy game. I feel like this is the first time he's run around. I'm not entirely sure on that. Feel free to berate me in the comments if I'm wrong on that, but... A comp battle, star bits, cons. And we can now access the little burst there. What that does is I believe it's either five or fifty star bits just that you can access on the map and they'll refresh every time you finish a level. Bye bye star bunny. <laughs> you know the one thing in the galaxy cuter than one of those? Nothing! That's what ha ha ha! I get you on that one. Well it looks to me that cute critter wants to tell you something. Well, why don't we see what he has to say? Alright, listen up, because I don't want to say this more than once. See that toad? He started collecting starbits for safekeeping. Singing some a happy bank or something. Why don't you go over there and check it out for me? He scares me too much anymore. He has been saved. Alright. Let's do a quick talking to them. 
And I believe we'll end this episode off. Where is it? Where's this guy? Let's start. A little bit of gambling, sure, why not? Nice. I didn't wonder. <laughs> it kind of looked like it was dying, though. I was wondering if it was gonna actually. Oh, you're right here. Okay. Shake. Spinning when you're in mid jump. Spinning will give you just a little more oomph. How do you think I jump so high, boying? Try it with me. True. If you spin while you're in the air, you'll get a little more air time. Try to do it at the apex of your jump to be able to travel just a little bit farther. And with that, I believe we are done for now. At least with this episode. So, join me next time. I think it's time. As we explore a couple more galaxies. See ya then.